robust automatic modulation classification using convolutional deep neural network based on scalagram information. Welcome to Journal Club, the latest academic research explained in plain English. Today, we're looking at this paper from MDPI's Journal of Computers. It's authored by Abdul Karim et al. from the Ministry of Migration and Displaced in Iraq and is published open access under a CCBY license. Let's start by translating the title into a more accessible language. When you read this title, you can understand it to mean in very simple terms that the paper discusses using a computer program that can identify different types of communication signals by analyzing their visual patterns. Let's expand on that a little bit. The paper is about building a tool that can automatically identify different types of signals in data by using a deep neural network. The tool uses a specific type of data representation called a scalagram to help the neural network learn to distinguish between different types of signals. The goal is to create a system that can work well even if there is a lot of noise or interference in the data. Now we understand the title, which is a good start, but before we can break down the full paper, we'll need to catch up on some terminology, jargon, background information, and context. Specifically, there are some key concepts you'll need to be familiar with. Let's define them now. Automatic modulation classification. The process of identifying the type of modulation used in a signal. Convolutional neural network. A type of artificial neural network commonly used in image processing tasks. Scalagram, a 2D plot that visualizes the time frequency content of a signal using the continuous wavelet transform. Multi-class classification, the process of assigning an input to one of several possible classes or categories. Amplitude shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which the amplitude of a carrier wave is varied to transmit binary data. Phase shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which the phase of a carrier wave is varied to transmit binary data. Frequency shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which the frequency of a carrier wave is varied to transmit binary data. Quadrature amplitude shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which both the amplitude and phase of a carrier wave are varied to transmit binary data. Quadrature phase shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which both the phase and amplitude of a carrier wave are varied to transmit binary data. Quadrature frequency shift keying, a digital modulation technique in which both the frequency and phase of a carrier wave are varied to transmit binary data. Now that we understand the title and key concepts, we're ready to dive in and break down this paper. In this presentation, we're going to attempt to answer five questions. One, what were the researchers trying to figure out? Or more specifically, what was their hypothesis? Two, how did they conduct their experiment? That is, how did they test their hypothesis? Three, what were the results of their experiment? Four, what conclusions did the authors draw from those results? And lastly, five, why does this research matter? Why should you care? Let's start with number one. What were the researchers trying to figure out? The researchers hypothesized that a two-stage method combining a convolutional neural network with continuous wavelet transform could provide more accurate multi-class modulation classification specifically for six types of modulations used in various communication contexts, even in the presence of varying noise levels. In this study, they were trying to determine if this hypothesis was correct. Two. How did they conduct their experiment? The researchers used two main methods for their research. First, they used the continuous wavelet transform, CWT, to analyze signals and produce time frequency diagrams. This allowed them to effectively transform non-stationary signals. They used wavelet functions, such as Depeche's, Morlet, Simlet, and Gaussian, to change the signal. Second, they used a convolutional neural network architecture that consisted of fully connected layers, convolution, and pooling. The convolutional filtering layers emphasized and extracted certain elements of the signal. The pooling layer reduced the signal's file size. They used these layers repeatedly before the fully connected layer, where classification is performed using the output from the second pooling layer. Six probability values were created for each of the six classes of generated modulation by the CNN after it analyzed a scalagram picture. Three, what were the results? The researcher's model was shown to be accurate to a level greater than 99% at all six signal-to-noise ratios tested. The model outperformed other popular CNN models in terms of accuracy, efficiency, and training time. Four, what conclusions did the authors draw from the results? 
the researchers suggest that this model can be used in conjunction with communication hardware in the future for real-time demodulation and automated detection of modulated signals. Feature selection methods could be used to improve the performance of the proposed method in future work. 5. Why does this research matter? This research is important because digital modulations are widely used in various types of communication systems such as satellite communication, underwater communication, and military communication. This research has potential applications in the development of new communications hardware and can improve the reliability and security of communication systems. We hope you enjoyed this Journal Club presentation of Robust Automatic Modulation Classification Using Convolutional Deep Neural Network Based on Scalagram Information. If you'd like to read the full paper yourself, which we encourage you to do, you can find it at DOI 10.3390 slash computers 11110162.